Hey, what's up, everyone? A two-way enthusiast here, and I am here with um, first impression of my newest firearm, which is also used. Uh, this is the Taurus Tracker 692. Uh, it has a six and a half inch barrel and a seven shot cylinder, which is pretty awesome. Um, I actually came, I wasn't really looking for this particular uh, handgun. I was looking for a revolver and I wasn't too fussy about uh, caliber. And uh, when I went to the store, I traded in a uh, Celtic PMR 30. And um, when I went into the store, the uh, guy behind the register said, well, we have a Taurus 692. So I wasn't totally familiar with it. Um, it after I saw it, then I was like, oh, yeah, I remember reading about this. But at first I wasn't. So he showed it to me. I said it looks pretty cool. So the way uh, ammunition prices are going right now and uh, selection, I'm pretty happy to have someone that shoots something that shoots uh, multiple calibers. This one really appealed to me because not only does it have you know, your traditional, let me show you here, does it have your traditional um, 357 cylinder, which can shoot, uh, as you're aware, 38 special, which is pretty nice. But it also has a conversion cylinder, which is right here. Uh, that can also shoot 9mm. So you can very easily swap this cylinder out and shoot 9mm. You have seven rounds. Or you just keep it in here and you can shoot uh, seven rounds. Please excuse the uh, tripod moving. And you can shoot seven rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special. So not bad in my perspective. Uh, another thing that I liked is that I have a, polymer, a, um, a Taurus revolver that's pretty nice. Uh, it's uh, it's a polymer revolver. It shoots 357 38 special. So um, I, I really like it a lot, but I only like it when I'm shooting 38 special because it's such a light firearm. Uh, 357 is not too pleasant to shoot. I mean, in an emergency, it's actually, I mean, it's certainly doable, but not real fun to go plink at the range. This gun is pretty heavy and hefty for the size with the six and a half inch barrel. Um, it's all steel it's construction as far as I know. And then it has these rubber grips, so that takes up a little bit of the recoil. These are the uh, rubber grips. You can kind of tell they have, uh, they kind of like move and flex a little bit when you grab them. They're not bad. I think I prefer like a, a Pacmar grip type of thing, to be honest with you. And I like this. I, I really enjoyed shooting. I shot it for the first time the other day. I put a little over 100 rounds of, uh, of 9mm and 357 through it. Uh, and I, I really en I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, and then over here, we have just a cover that lifts off and there's the rear sight. Uh, but I might actually look into seeing if I can change out these grips a little bit. Uh, I, I'd like something that's like a little more textured. Maybe if Pacmar makes something good or, uh, or Hogue. Um, pretty cool. As you can tell there, it's kind of a, like a matte black finish. Pretty cool. And then another really cool thing, if I could show you, is that the barrel is compensated. And let me tell you something, that does quite a bit. As I was shooting the 9mm out of it, uh, you know, 9mm is not really a, a high recoil round, certainly not thought of that way. But I'm used to shooting 9mm out of, um, you know, uh, Glocks or Berettas, uh, you know, things like that. Maybe like some kind of concealed carry type handguns. This probably weighs more than twice what some of my handguns 9mm for concealed carry way. Uh, it, it's really stocky, and then with the six and a half inch barrel, is you know quite a bit of weight on the front. Although I mean it is well balanced, but then you have that compensator there, and uh, I got to tell you, it, it doesn't really feel much um, like much more recoil than a twenty two. It, it's really amazing. Like it's 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 a, it actually took me aback when I fired the first one because I was expecting a little bit more from it. And like, wow, that's, it's really something. Uh, with the 357s, uh, well, the 357 did have, as you would imagine, um, a, a, you knew you were shooting 357, let's put it that way. But uh, it wasn't snappy at all. Uh, it was very comfortable to shoot. But like I said, you know, you know what you're shooting when you're shooting it. But it's just really cool that it's compensated like that. And like I said, with all that heavy weight, uh, it's really cool. Um, <clears throat> now, the big thing here is is how the cylinder flips out. Now, convertible cylinder revolvers have become pretty popular with single action, because as you know, you probably have the uh, that one rod, you pull the rod out, and then you can put uh, the other cylinder in. With this one, there's this button right here. So what you do is open the cylinder, 
you press that button right here and then the cylinder just slides out. It's awesome. And then, you know, you go to pop the 9mm in, you keep that button depressed on the other side, just like I showed you before. And then you pop this one in. You're good. It's really, it's like fantastic. Uh, this is right now probably my current favorite handgun. I know some people rag on Taurus. Even the sights, I like the sights too. Uh, just that single blade, and you can't see it probably too well there, but... Um, the range doesn't have the best lighting. It's an indoor range. And uh, I had no problems at all with sight acquisition. It's really, really cool. And then, as you probably know, uh, single double action. So, very, uh, very short trigger pull there. And as you'd, as you'd expect, the, uh, the double action, a little more stout, but really not bad at all. Um, my wife has fired some of my revolvers, and this one seem to give her very little issue firing. Some of them are a little more stout. Um, one thing that I do think is kind of interesting about this, and I've um, I've looked at a couple of videos. Uh, there's actually one from the firearm guy, which is pretty interesting. Uh, he had a 9mm revolver, <clears throat> and as you know, 9mm, it's, uh, it's a semi-auto cartridge, and uh, it doesn't have uh, a protruding rim. So because of that, you can put the 9mm uh, rounds in here, and uh, they'll, they will headspace in the cylinder. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of, you can kind of see where the edge of the casing would, would fit in down in there. So you can put them in separately, or what you can do is you can use um, moon clips, which they refer to as stellar clips. Because if you just put in the loose 9mm rounds and you push the ejector up, it's not grabbing those 9mm rounds because it doesn't have a rim that projects. But if you put the, the uh, moon clip on there, it's a machine to fit right in there, so when you push this up, it pushes up the rounds. So, in his video, and I would encourage you to check it out, he put 380s in there. And um, prior to seeing his video, I was, I was kind of curious if that would work, because uh, the 380 and the 9mm use the same diameter bullet, believe it or not, if you're not aware of this. And um, the 380 has uh, less power, less pressure. So I was wondering if you try the 380 in this 9mm, I'm not telling you to do that, so if you wreck something, I don't want to be responsible, I'm just telling you, you know, check in the video, um, if you could fire a 380. So if you put the 380s in and you kind of look at it sideways, they don't pop up as much as the 9mm do. So like in his video, he showed how the, uh, um, the firing pin won't quite strike it, but if you put them on the moon clips, they're a little bit roomy, but it does bring them up to just the right height, and you can do it. So just a little something I thought I'd bring up. I did not try that. I'm not recommending you try that. I'm just telling you what I saw, what I read, and what was running through my mind. Take it for what it's worth. Um, so um, I think this is like really, like really substantial. I do think I overpaid for it though. Um, I had I had purchased my uh, my Keltec PMR 30. But two years ago, 329 used, but it came with a second barrel with a flash hider on it and all that. And uh, when I had purchased it, I it, it just was not reliable. Um, I read the I read the manuals, I read the Keltec sites, uh, I used the exact uh, type of ammunition that's been recommended by Keltec. I used the CCI they recommended, and another brand. Um, I uh, loaded the magazines slowly and carefully just the way they tell you to do and hit it against the palm of your hand. I could not get this thing to work properly. So my only thinking is that since I bought it used, maybe I bought one of the first ones that came out and uh, it just had some issues. Maybe if it was a newer one, it would work just fine. I'm sure there are going to be people who maybe bought theirs, uh, you know, have, have a newer one that you know, runs like a clock. I'm not saying they don't, but the one I had wasn't good. And I, I tried babying that thing and followed every bit of advice I could. Because in theory, I liked the idea of the PMR 30, but I just I'm just more into revolvers now, and I just wanted something that could actually be useful to me. So, oops. So, um, this was really a, a good one. Now, um, this actually was four. I want to say 489 or 499 used. Uh, my thinking is that I probably could have got this for a little more than that new about a year ago, but unfortunately, it's not a year ago. So I I, I do think I in long term I probably overpaid a bit 
But strangely, for someone who's as stingy as me, I don't mind because I love this so much. It's a, it's a really great gun. And then, like I said, you can fire 357, 38 Special, and 9mm. So, I mean, it's it's really tough to beat that. If you're in the mood for a more powerful uh, loading, use a 357. You have a bunch of 9mm on you, use your 9mm. So, uh, if you do get a chance to see one of these at the store, I and you're in the market for a revolver, I would at the very least... Um, Check it out. Ask them to, you know, pull it out of the case and, and just check it out. I mean, it's a really, really cool revolver to uh, uh, to shoot. And like, it just it just feels like a really substantial firearm. All righty. So I am going to... Uh, oh, and one other thing you might be interested in is that there's this cap for the uh, sights. I might have mentioned that, but, you know, just to make sure they don't get banged around if you're in the field with it. So, um, like I said, please... Uh, uh, like or subscribe and you know I'll see you with some more videos I'm probably gonna come up with some coin videos soon because there's so much going on in the in the coin and metals markets lately so I'm gonna throw some of that stuff out there maybe some uh, prepping videos but uh, definitely keep your eyes posted and uh, I'll have some new stuff for you have a good one